Dr. Gleb Sapersky is CEO of the hybrid work consultancy Disaster Avoidance Experts and wrote the book, Returning to the Office and Leading Hybrid and Remote Teams. Dr. Sapersky, welcome to the program. Good to see you. What is it that drives global companies to summon their staff back into the office? Well, the best thing to look at is what the companies themselves are saying. So the Amazon CEO Andy Jesse, when he said in an internal leaked memo about a week ago what caused him to summon the all employees back to the office, he said that he doesn't have any data to back it up. The main thing he's doing is he talked to 60 to 80 other CEOs who are also summoning their employees back to the office. And that's what I see with my clients all the time when I initially start consulting with them. They just talk to other CEOs. They don't really have any data. And other CEOs feel like, well, we should be working back in the office. And that's why they're summoning their employees back into the office. Well, I was going to ask you, is working from home less efficient than working from the office? And it sounds like um, we don't really know. We don't have the data. We don't have the research. Well, we do have research showing that if you work from home without correcting for some of the problems of working from home, you will have less productivity, not on your individual tasks. People individually are more productive. Collaboratively, you don't mentor other people, especially junior people as well. So you get less collaborative work. So in the long run, junior staff can't work as efficiently. And to address that, you need to develop a mentoring program. So if you don't develop a mentoring program effectively, then you will lose productivity when you work remotely. Many parts of the world are seeing very tight labor markets at the moment. We keep reporting on it on this program. Is it really wise to force your talented staff to do something that perhaps they don't really want to do and come back to the office five days a week? Hmm. Well, we have a survey from Unispace which found that 42% of companies that forced their employees back to the office are reporting that they had higher attrition than they anticipated. In other words, they anticipated some attrition, but they had higher attrition than they anticipated. So clearly they made a mistake in their anticipation. We have another survey from Envoy that just came out that found that 80% of bosses, 80%, regret their RTO mandates, how they did them, that if they had to do it all over again, they would approach it differently. They would not just announce a sudden RTO turnaround like Amazon did. They would talk to their employees. They would have much more support within the company for a return to office. Dr. Gleb Sapersky in Columbus, Ohio, in the office. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.